All right, well, we're, uh, as we said last night, we're uh, finished with all the fabrication work, and uh, tonight starting the very first stages of getting things ready for paint. So lots of tweaking on gaps and working on, uh, you know, filling low spots and just getting the, getting the body looking good. Uh, we've got this door gap to fender gap up here looking pretty good. Um, and uh, you saw the work that we did to extend that up up front we've finished up the body filler work and um you know the door gap at the bottom is is good um so pretty good shape there and uh, we're going to put the hood on and uh do the hood pins we've got some uh quick latch billet hood pins that uh, should be pretty discreet looking and uh, not the not the gaudy old style but uh with the intercooler and all we just just no way to run a uh, the original latch so we got to put hood pins on it and uh, we got Matt over here in the floor, as you see, he's working on some old parts. We're trying to, one of the things that we're trying to do is uh, uh, clear out, you know, we've just got this thing full of uh, parts that we bought that we, uh, that we don't need and uh, old parts that came off the car that we're not using and, you know, just all kinds of stuff filling up the shop. And we've got to make a lot of space to uh, get ready to put our paint booth, uh, temporary paint booth in um, and uh, want to have as much room as possible to, get around the car so um, just trying to clear out all the way around it and uh, you know create a lot of space that we can use so uh, trying to sell some parts clean up some parts uh, and make uh, make some good room so uh, this is the first uh, first video and the, the next several videos will just be uh, all about paint body work and getting things ready and uh, we'll track every every bit of it all the way until we get it painted so uh, this is paint work, body work, video number one. All right, just a quick final video for tonight. We uh, continued with the panel fitment and all. We got the, the hood bolted on and working on the gaps. We just got it bolting on and just a rough fit for now. It's uh, uh, The gaps are too tight actually on both fenders. And uh, at the back, uh, back there, you can see the hood sitting a little bit too low. So we got to make some, some tweaks and adjustments on that. Um, we got the uh, again. The, uh, we got that fender. Just you know, we need to adjust it, move it a little bit forward. Um, now the gap is actually too tight. We may actually have to grind some off of that edge where we built it up too much, but that's easy to do. It's a lot easier to the, grind some off than to add to it. So that's a that's an easy fix. So um, anyway, it's a uh, you know it's getting there, coming along. We uh, sprayed another uh, test panel. Um, in a slightly different color uh, just messing around with these grays we've got the ability to put a few different shades of it on there so um, this is a lighter uh, more flat um, version of it here so uh, and so we just did half of the top and then tomorrow night we're going to respray the base coat and clear coat in the uh, in the darker charcoal metallic in a in a gloss finish instead of the uh, the matte and that way We'll be able to see both um, side by side, also contrasting the uh, candy apple that's down on the bottom. So we'll uh, check that out tomorrow night and see what it looks like. So uh, anyway, it's uh, getting there. Got a little bit more work to do on the on the panel fitting, and then we'll we'll be ready to start putting the front sheet metal on. And once we get that fitted up good, we'll we'll start blocking the whole car uh, from front to back.